Bruce Forsyth. Sir Bruce, he's been uh, knighted. Finally. And people are apparently excited about that. I think it's nice, you know, he's got one now, along with, you yeah. know, his classmates, Galahad and Lancelot. <laughs> he really pisses on the term knight, doesn't he? Imagine if you were a kid and you knew about King Arthur and all that. Oh, they're still knights, <laughs> Mummy. Yeah, there's one on TV now. <laughs> <laughs> The ceremony, Prince Philip will go, nice to see some young blood coming through. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, what's amazing about him, they say he's had 70 years in entertainment, and for since the 70s, for like 45 years or something, there's, there's been a waxwork of him in Madame Two Swords for 45 years. <laughs> and they don't change it. What they do is they hold up a recent photo and then hit it with a cricket ball. <laughs> 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 Just hold like a patio heater yeah. up to it, so it just. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look and see if it's one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, Bruce Forsyth was awarded a knighthood in the Queen's birthday honours. So from now on, he'll be known as Sir Brucey instead of just Brucey. That's nine letters instead of six. Might not seem like much, but that's just put fifty percent on the price of a wreath. <laughs> One thing still to get. Fingers on buzzers. Is it the juror who was uh, uh, sent to jail this week for discussing the case with one of the defendants on Facebook? So the, the trial's still going on and she's talking to one of the defendants about who else, her friends who are still in the courtroom. And the thing about it is, when you actually see what this woman's written, just, I think the, the thing that she should go to prison for is her appalling grammar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got some of these. We've got, uh, don't be a stranger, pal. We have... Meet up soon. Good luck. <laughs> well, I think it'd be good for her to go to prison, cos in prison, a lot of people often learn to read and write, don't they? <laughs> in her defence, come on, listen, there's a... You know, I, I, I don't think that's a bad thing. Oh. I do text talk. You of a you rather than Y-O-U. <laughs> I'm only joking about the grammar. It's the main thing is that she's talking to someone during a trial. Do text talk. No, I write out every single do word, you? apostrophes. <laughs> I even sometimes, if I can't do an apostrophe on my phone, I put brackets, there should be an apostrophe. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at the woman as well, you think so, she is a very good argument against the death penalty. Cos if you think there's people <laughs> like that <laughs> on juries, people who are that stupid <laughs> on a jury, <laughs> You know, never mind telling the difference between right and wrong. She looks like she doesn't know the difference between right and left. <laughs> Apparently that's what Wayne Rooney's going to look like when the hair's grown out. <laughs> <laughs> Talking of idiocy, not realising that the, uh, the Facebook is, is uh, public, I made a real faux pas. I was travelling on the train, really annoying woman sitting opposite me, tutting at everything I did. You know the type of person that can hear your pancreas secreting into you? Oh, <laughs> middle-aged, bag full of Catherine Cookson novels, so I said, oh, my God, total King Canute sitting opposite me, sneaky way of swearing. Uh, she's got a librarian's haircut, and she tuts every time I move. The biatch, right? Just forgot about it. The most unlikely object comes out of her bag next. A Blackberry, right? She's heard me say my name to my bank on the phone, got my surname, has Googled me, right, gone onto Facebook. <laughs> she's lent in and gone, now... I've just recognised who you are. And, of course, egotistical comedian, we go, what, have you seen me on 8 out of 10 cats? Do you, like <laughs> do you like my Beyonce dance? What was it? She said this, I think it's very hurtful what you've just written on Facebook. Everyone on the train's like... <laughs> 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 it's very hurtful what you've just written on Facebook. I wasn't tutting every time you moved. I don't have a librarian's haircut. And this is the worst bit. The reason I'm in a bad mood is I've just visited my friend in London who is terminally ill. How I got out of it, uh, is it even by my <laughs> In this, I'm toast. Mm. I said, uh, I was like, oh my god, uh, totes, you've got it wrong. Um, I, uh, <laughs> what I do is I put fake events on there to make myself more interesting, so my, my <laughs> followers or. And there was little thumbs under there, hey, I'm a librarian, leave it out, it was all underneath. Then I sent a couple of fake ones to make it sound believable. I've just spilled coffee on my knob and I hadn't. <laughs> Ten minutes later, she started crying and going, I'm so sorry, I've just been under a lot of pressure lately. Like, she apologised <laughs> to me, right there. Right? <laughs> An hour later, I went back onto Facebook and underneath the thread, everyone else on the train who'd recognised who I was, opposed to, you just about got away with that, mate. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I empathise with this story. Jeez. She's here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm so sorry. Let's have a look and see whether this uh, juror chatting to the defendant on Facebook is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? Yes, a juror and a defendant were found guilty of contempt of court after making contact on Facebook. I'm worried I could go to prison if the police ever find out what I've been doing on my computer. <laughs> Best way to make someone cry. <laughs> I've done a couple of I like yeah. practical jokes. I've done a couple that have gone wrong and upset people. And when I was Drive 17, like my, my mum's a bit OCD and would always check where I am. She phoned my mobile and, it, and uh, my friend answered it. I'd set this up, and he answered the phone and went, "Hello, who is this? We found this phone in the wreckage." <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Good joke, though, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was bad. Sometimes I don't tell my kids how hot the food is. <laughs> It. <laughs> John, have you, have you ever cried? He's a Leeds fan. Yes, I am. <laughs> I don't cry about football, though. There's so much real tragedy in my <laughs> life. <laughs> I just sort of do it on my own. I just think crying's like masturbating. You've got to get it out of your system every now and again. <laughs> so I'll just every now and again, I'll just take a night off, drink up two bottles of red wine. It's just, right, let's do this. Go and stare. <laughs> stare in the mirror till it happens. <laughs> Are we talking about crying or masturbation? <laughs> Until it happens. <laughs> Jesus, John. <laughs> Get the internet, it's not that expensive. <laughs> okay, best way to make someone cry. You, you know when you're really hungover and then they show the snowman? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that really hits you right between the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you a really good way to make someone cry. This is a brilliant way is dress up as their dead grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> and, they say, and then you say, haven't you grown since I died? <laughs> oh, haven't you grown? Oh, come on, what's the matter? Don't cry, you used to love me. <laughs> come on, give Nana a kiss. Do you think they're crying that at the Nana works. thing? Or do you think they're just crying and... Oh, Sean Locke's had a breakdown, I liked him. <laughs>